Hello and welcome to another cPanel tutorial video. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how you can quickly create a new reseller account. Um, so what we need to actually do is we need to go and create a new account. Um, if you already have an account and you want to make them a reseller I'll show you how you do that as well. But the first thing we want to do is just create the account. So if we type new in the search function and we can see that uh, create new account is actually in the account functions. So you can go to there manually if you know where it is, or you can just do a search. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to fill out all of this information here, and then you can actually click make the account a reseller. And this will actually make the account a reseller, as it says. So once you've done that, um, we can actually go to the reseller center. So let's just go to that. So in the reseller center, so this is the reseller area, um, you can actually do a few different things, um, but what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to actually be um, showing you the different privileges you can create. So I've already got a couple of different um, resellers here, or different users. So if you want to create or make an account a reseller, then you can actually do that from here. So you just select the account you want and click OK and this will convert that account into a reseller. So if we go back to the reseller center, we can then, um, let's have a look. So what we want to do is we want to edit privileges uh, and name servers. So this is where we can choose what the reseller is able to do. So if we want to be able to limit the number of accounts a reseller can have, um, then here we can do that so we can actually put a number in here and it'll mean that they can only create so many accounts and um, we can also then limit the resources they're allowed to use so maybe you want to create an account and only allow them to have 20 gig or 100 gig that kind of thing this is where we can do that we also have the option of well have to choose bandwidth so if you only want to give them disk space then you still have to do the bandwidth but as it says here unlimited is not applicable here if you want um, to limit if you don't want to limit it then just give it a very large number so let's say give them 220 gig but we can just give them like loads of nines for bandwidth and we can also allow overselling we can also limit the different types of packages that are allowed to use so we've got an unlimited package and we're gonna say yes they can use that or no they can't use that and um, we can also limit the amount of accounts that domain can have per package so let's just say we're only allowed them to have five unlimited packages that's what we can do here we can also choose which ACL so access control list I think it is maybe not account control list I can't remember what it's called um, it probably says someone here I'm just not looking at it so you can actually choose what kind of privileges the reseller is allowed to do so whether you want them to be able to list accounts, view account disk usage or bandwidth sorry um, change name servers edit DNS that kind of thing so you, you need to be careful with which ones of these you give out because some of them are normally only allowed for roots so like super privileged users blah 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 um, you don't really want to allow a lot of these because it, it can kind of cock things up um, and you definitely don't want to give a reseller root access because that's just dangerous and once you've done that you can also um, assign different name servers for them to use which is quite helpful so once you've done all this you can just actually just save it and that account will then be a reseller and they'll be able to access the same kind of interface they have here um, so yeah I hope that video is been useful and um, if there's any other questions you like then please feel free to comment below or on the forum and I'll make sure to do a video about it so thanks for watching see ya